Hi, Dave Searles here from Jones and Horan Auction Company in Goffstown, New Hampshire, uh, with one of the great finds uh, of recent decades uh, that uh, we are going to be offering in our May sale in 2014. Um, this is the earliest known Howard watch. Um, serial number 111, which is actually serial number 11, uh, with plates marked Howard and Rice, uh, also marked Boston Watch Company, also marked with Reed's patent barrel, and uh, with a dial that is marked E. Howard and Company. Now the story on these is an interesting one, um, and we know a lot about this based on the excellent research by Clint Geller, who identifies this kind of movement as a model 1858C divided plate movement. Um, Waltham uh, Watch Company, in its early stages, when Howard was still a partner, along with uh, other people, uh, wound up in bankruptcy in the mid-1850s, and Howard took material from the company and started producing watches in association with Rice that were basically looked like model 1857 Waltham watches but had upright pallets. Uh, so they made these watches until 1858 when uh, they had by that time joined with G.P. Reed and they came up with this new model of mechanism. So this watch uh, is the only known example to have survived with the Howard and Rice plates. Uh, what was the theory before was that serial number 132 was the earliest known uh, Howard watch and it was signed E. Howard Watch Company and they knew that there had been Howard and Rice marked watches but because some of them had been taken apart and provided with uh, new plates for the E. Howard and Company uh, which show up at later serial numbers of the E. Howard Company uh, they assumed that that's what happened to the prior 31 watches. Then we had to back up that date a bit uh, when serial number 126 showed up with E. Howard plates. This is the first watch ever discovered that has the original Howard and Rice plates, uh, proving that some, but not all, of these uh, were, uh, did survive. It's the only known example to have survived. Uh, the 11th watch produced by the Howard Watch Company, the 11th uh, Model 1858 uh, divided plate, and uh, with a, what would have to be the earliest known E. Howard dial. The dial is interesting because the quality of the dial is glass quality. It is absolutely beautiful surface. Um, the uh, graphic uh, rendering is just beautiful. Uh, the signature, while resembling some later script signatures, actually has colons in place of periods uh, that are kind of a nice decorative effect that set it apart. Um, even the uh, blued hands with the polished spades are similar but not the same as later Howard production watches. Um, the movement itself, without any alteration whatsoever, has been placed in this generic uh, gold-filled case with a solid gold bow um, that uh, is uh, uh, certainly late 19th century. Um, they did it with uh, care. They did not change anything about the mechanism itself. They didn't change the locator pin. They drilled the locator pinhole site uh, well. They then drilled the cuvette uh, with holes in the correct positions for uh, uh, winding and setting of the watch. So we have here um, a historic uh, uh, item that is the earliest known Howard, uh, um, post-Waltham Howard, that, uh, that we've ever seen. Um, you can say that Howard's came in three series. Uh, the first 17 watches made by Waltham were marked Howard, Davis, and Dennison. Uh, then you have the Howard and Rice watches that were made of Waltham material. 
but then the first independent Howard venture with G.P. Reed was this one, uh, resulting in this model 1858C divided plate, and uh, this is serial number 11. Uh, when we took the watch apart, uh, every single part is labeled uh, serial number 11. Uh, when I took the dial off, uh, it looked like the dial had never been removed from the watch. Uh, the pin sights were unscratched. Uh, there were no blemishes uh, around the, uh, the posts for the, uh, the dial feet. Um, it's just uh, in tremendous condition. We have, at this period, uh, plates that are very thinly gilt, and that's typical of all of these watches. And as a result, they have a little bit of uh, aging to them in terms of uh, tarnish appearing through the gilding. They give the plates a somewhat patchy appearance, but they're unabused and uh, unaltered. So we have a terrific historic example that might have been in a case at one time. It might never have been cased and then placed in this case to uh, protect it. Um, nobody will ever know the truth of that unless we can find some uh, documentation uh, somewhere of this specific watch, but that's most, uh, most doubtful. We have an estimate range of fifteen to thirty thousand dollars on this movement. We think it's going to attract a great amount of attention. Um, being the earliest Howard, and Howard being one of the most famous American makers, um, being the earliest uh, 1858, um, we'll be thrilled to see what it does. Uh, no reserve on the item. Uh, no sales tax here in New Hampshire. Uh, no buyer's premium at our auction gallery. If you bought this for 30000 you pay 30000 You don't pay 25% more or 15% more. Um, what you pay is, is the price. So we look forward to seeing you at our auction this coming May. Uh, check out our website, www.jones-horan.com, for updates on new items that we'll be adding to the auction. Thank you.